What's going on everybody? This is a hair and the babe. We are reviewing the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Yeah, we're a few weeks late to the party, but uh, they're not paying us for this shit. We got them ourselves with our hard-earned cocaine money. Just kidding. It's our, it's, you know, we pay taxes just like everybody else. Um, yeah, it's an overview of an on, it's an honest review of these devices. We got all three. I, yours truly have the black one. The cutie with the booty over here has the white. And her mother has the rambo-y fucking silver, blue, aurora, some fucking color. So here they are. They all look really nice. You can check them out. Um, there's their respective pens with them. Uh, quick overview. They have 2.9 gigahertz octa-core. 12 fucking gigs of RAM, which makes a big-ass difference. We'll get into that fucking later on. Uh, 6.8 AMOLED infinity screen. Um, and so on. We'll get into more of that stuff later. We just wanted to give you guys a good overview of how they look, uh, how they feel. We'll get in, touch the black right here. It is very cute. Okay, here we go. Here we go, all right. And you can kind of see how it looks, all right. Here's the white. It's called Aurora White, actually. Looks very nice. It is. Turn it over. You see the camera working with too. Hello. All right. And of course, this one, controversial color. Um, it looks better in person. I'll say that. Looks silver at times. Maybe a slight gold. Any light reflects. Rainbow. Turns rainbow as fuck. But it is pretty nice though. I like. It. I like the blue pen too. Wouldn't get it myself, but just want to give you an overview. And we will get into more of the stuff as we go on. So the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, great phone. You know, we've had it for a little while now, about a month and a half, two months. Uh, overall superb. All the big shots are talking about best phone of 2019, blah, 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 iPhone, all that bullshit. Hey, whatever the fuck else is out there. Um, here we're going to talk about, just like we did in the uh, intro, the good, the bad, what we like, what we hate. And also the the progression of it. Like I said, we've had it for a little while already. Um, see how, see what we think. Initially, the good good part of it. I mean, what can you say? It's fast, um, and the the RAM in it makes it. You know, you can go through so many fucking different apps seamlessly. Uh, I really dig that part. It has all the, the good specs. Not the only thing I don't like about it, it doesn't have the Snapdragon, 8, Snapdragon 855 Plus <laughs> chipset in it, that, but it has the regular 855, which your common folk like us that just want to take selfies, fuck videos, and shit like that, we're not, okay, no, right, 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 what the hell? It's true. Though. No, okay, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, you know, it has g great cameras in it, we, as you can see in it, 4K is amazing in it, um, in the Universal trips and all the other shit we've done with it. Testing out the front S10 Plus, the uh, Note 10 Plus. Here we go. My dad just bought a hat. Gunning it out. Let's see the hat, dude. Fuck Brown. <laughs> Fuck Antonio Brown. <laughs> Fuck him. We're gonna get DOS. <laughs> yeah. And we come over here. See how the colors change a little bit. Still front camera. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Fuck Brown. Fuck him. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the colors are staying very good, you can tell. And this is just the front camera. Front camera. This video is at 4K, 60 frames a second. You can see the ripples on the guy's pants go using the fucking air and shit he's going up, people taking pictures. Uh, right here you're going to see the family wave. Um, there we go, wave. Fucking wave. We're going to wave right now. Awesome. Yeah. Here we are again at 4K 60 frames per second. This is showing the dynamic range of the camera. Uh, I really like the colors in it, the driplets of water, the kids having fucking fun, Perfect. the purple and the lights, everything looks really good. Um, in the next clip after this, you're gonna see very, very, uh, the Adobe nice. Atmos audio from the phone, which I really enjoy. Hope you like it.
is more from that 4K camera. You see the shark, the flames, the driplets. Uh, beautiful recording from this Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Really like it. It's amazing. Video quality, picture quality is incredible. Night mode, all that bullshit's really good. Here we are using the spin variation of the bokeh effect. Edge detection isn't as great, but uh, fuck it, it's a new feature. Why not use it? See what you guys get. Um, in this next picture, same picture, but using the black and white bokeh effect. It's officially called the color print version. Honestly, this looks fucking sick. It's my all-time favorite. Post it on Instagram. People think you're using a fucking DSLR, but you're actually using the motherfucking Note 10 Plus. Here's a few other pictures. You see the light simming through in the top left. Very good color on it. This next one has the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Like the mist on the bottom from the yellow. Very good. Uh, can't complain about this camera at all right now. Here's the wide angle lens. Um, this beautiful picture. Love the clouds. Love the blue in it. Uh, fucking like it a lot. Um, as far as those specs though, like I said, that 55 plus, of course you'd want it. Doesn't have it, but I don't fucking notice shit. And I'll run shit like Clash of Clans, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, um, I'm name dropping here, that new Mario Kart, that's a fucking amazing ass game, wish they would sponsor us because I love that shit so much, um, high intensity shit like Walking Dead, fucking uh, Call of Duty, you do that, it's quick, quick, uh, quick jump to a PowerPoint, quick jump to a fucking PDF, quick jump to a search and then you buy something on Amazon and everything there's no hiccups at all it's fucking crazy that's the good it's just fast does everything you want and then some it's too much for us I think sometimes for what we do no I need that I literally did exactly what you described <laughs> this week she doesn't do shit she did nothing I, did. I do everything faster than you but whatever the case may be it's more I think it's more than what we need because it's just, the Note 8 didn't give us that. Oh, we'll jump into that. That's all the good. What do you like about it? Just all that shit that I just said? I mean, I had that with the Note 8 also, but... See, okay, and this is going to be the bad part of it. The bad part of it is, to be 100% <laughs> honest, I didn't really need to upgrade and I don't know if you did either, honestly. No, not really. It was just well, nice. <laughs> and just to get in real quick, I want to cut you off. We had the Galaxy Note 8 previous to that. You know, a two-year jump and new phone, right? Uh, whatever the case may be, people, Super Seth, all those guys that review it, the Note 8, to this day, never gave me any issues. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was fucking, did everything great. Um, biggest thing I see between those two phones is the camera. Yeah. I mean, the Note 8 had some great, had a great camera on it too, especially in the daylight. But um, yeah, I guess you could say performance is better. That's what the specs say. But it wasn't a necessity. Samsung has built really good phones as of late. So is Apple too. Um, it's just we didn't necessarily need it. There's not, of course, it's even when we got it, what was the first thing we said? Fuck. Kind of feel like the Note 8. Uh, you you yeah. told me that shit too. So as far as the bad, there's not a whole lot of innovation besides the camera. And we do like that shit though. Yeah, the that's camera the, made a big difference. Camera is the biggest difference in the world in it. And that's the, the, so the bad part I'm saying is that it's not a huge difference besides the camera. I mean, it's 2019 and all the fucking phones are good nowadays. Basically, yeah. unless you have Cricket and fucking Metro <laughs> and all those stupid ass companies. But if they sponsor us, then they're good. Um, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, another thing in the bad, which it fucking grinds my gears almost as much as the Hell in a Cell 2019 that just happened. I don't even want to get in. This is not even the time for that. This isn't the fucking no. time for that. But I'll talk about the, the main, probably the main bad thing I, I don't like about the phone is the fucking camera hump. What were you thinking, Samsung, you fucks? The camera hump. Because here's the thing. Galaxy, I want to rewind a couple years ago. The Galaxy S6 came out. Innovation of the camera is brand new. Was, oh shit, it caught up to the iPhone, blah, blah, blah. But the one thing they fucked up on it, and I can say this because I had an S6. 
the fucking camera hump was like this big. And Apple always does that to their to their phone, so it's fine. They're used to it. But I wasn't. I'm a Samsung guy, right? Or whatever. Unbiased, blah, blah, blah. Like Motorola back then, too. The camera hump was like this big. You set the phone down hard enough, that shit cracks. You know what I mean? And a lot that happened a lot in the Galaxy S6. I had a slither of a crack because I did the same. I just, you don't think, just put it down and it fucking, and it had it. The hairline little crack. I'm like, man, they shouldn't have done that shit. It's annoying. It's like what Apple does. That's one of the first things I noticed because I didn't have a case on it yet. I had to set it down so carefully. And she's talking about the new Note 10 Plus. Yeah. We're still talking about the S6. Samsung's like, oh, we'll fix this shit. The S7 comes out the next year and they flatten the camera hump so it doesn't go past what the fucking casing of the phone is they fixed it and i'm like hey they got good shit and i had the s7 too because long story short I had the note 7 the backlash from it had a reverse to the s7 because of the whole kaboom story. shit yeah whole different story however they fixed it and then ever since then the s8 note 8 s9 note 9 s10 also flat camera humps shit that apple should do too because i don't know why the fuck they still do that for whatever fucking reason, Samsung says, you know, and, and here's another thing, too, in the bad. They copied Apple a lot in it, and the, the camera layout from the uh, from the fucking X and the XS Max, it's the same shit as the iPhone. It has a little uh, oval fucking thing that it has. They copied it exactly. I was like, what the fuck? And then Apple changes it in their new phone. They have their little alien-looking camera set up now, which hit or miss, but it's not the time for that. Why the fuck did you make the camera hump so fat like that? You can't even... We no case the Note 8 the last month when we knew we were going to upgrade. We're like, oh, we're just going to free ball it. Just like, you know, no condom sex feels better, right? So we just... The phone felt good the last <laughs> month because it had no case great. on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it felt great. And then, of course, I'm thinking, like, man, I can get used to this shit. You can't do that with the fucking Note 10 Plus because the camera hump is so fucking big. Unless you're always laying it the other side and you're being careful and blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't work like that. You have to have a fucking case. And whatever, I get it. It's a $1,200 phone. Of course you should have a case on it, right? But for those that, like Neil Tyson Degrassi, who never, who swore by not using cases, that smart astrophysicist prick, I like him though, he's cool. He doesn't use a case. And with this one, just like the iPhones, you need one or you're going to fuck up your camera. Unless you're the most careful person on planet Earth. I tried friend. that. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then I dropped she it dropped right it. away. She fucking dropped it. It fell off my bed and smacked. You're lucky oh. that that shit didn't break. You're that just, was the second day I had it. You're lucky it didn't fall on that fucking oh. part. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now we have cases. We're covering it. And I always use a case anyways, a thin case. Because it's just better than having those big bulky ass cases. But that covers the camera, which is yeah. nice. So that's the biggest fucking complaint I have, besides it being kind of like the Note 8, yeah. is that fucking camera hump. Um, if I'm be real nitpicky, I can say I wish they would have made the fucking uh, the camera hole. A little smaller. In, a, a smaller, that's the first thing you said, is it was kind of big. It was bigger than I thought. <clears throat> or make it invisible, which I think they're going to do on the S11 or S12. Um, you heard it first. So yeah, those are that's the good and bad from it. Mainly, it seems like I bitched a lot about it, but I'm just in a fucking hype mode because, you know, sports and shit and all that shit going on. <coughs> I want to sell them. <coughs> they fucked Bray Wyatt. They fucked him. <coughs> I still like him, though. <coughs> That's mean. Okay, okay, so <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> my, mainly positives about it. Well, you'll see all the shit on it. If we haven't shown it already, I'll try my best to edit it greatly um, and make sure everything... Uh, syncs well but yeah overall great phone you can't ask for anything better um, it's just great you could run anything I dare you to fucking <laughs> run shit that it's not gonna be able to run because that's 12 gigs of RAM I'm talking about the plus one don't even waste oh run a real quick negative about it too this isn't a negative on the Note 10 Plus it's a negative on Samsung for making a Note 10 Plus that should have just been the Note 10 the regular Note 10 it's fucking laughable. I can't believe they would release that shit. There's a whole set. I can't believe it. I didn't even fucking write none of this shit down. The Note 10 <laughs> is basically a downgrade from the Note 9. Or Note 8 even. Because the Note 8 still runs out of 2K screen or whatever it is. The Note 10 regular, not the Plus, the, Note, the regular is at a 1080p screen. 
and it's like fuck you haven't had that since like the fucking s6 i think i think maybe s7 who knows it's fucking crazy most people they think do i want this or the plus version oh the plus version is too big look at the smaller one Be and then usually it's, i almost did that she almost did that and i said no babe don't fuck this up because <laughs> you know what the plus version is the actual successor to the note mm -hmm. 9 because the note 10 is a downgrade from the note 9 way way fucking uh diluted screen 1080 screen versus a 2k screen um the ram i think is lower the ram is like half the ram of the note of the note 10 plus um there's no memory card fucking slot on it oh another negative there's no audio jack on it um which i haven't used that in a long time anyways so it wasn't a real big fucking difference for us right bluetooth. so bluetooth all fucking day if you don't have bluetooth by now i mean what are you doing what the fuck are you doing turn this shit off you shouldn't be watching youtube get a blue if you get a fucking dongle they're like 14 bucks on amazon you fucks okay but it what? didn't work no no, no no i'm talking about a bluetooth dongle the regular oh, dongle the audio now. jack okay so we're way off t track right now but the <laughs> audio uh 3.5 millimeter dongle i got one on amazon just generic one shit didn't work come to find out only the samsung yeah. ones work so that's, that's another apple move they did yeah sure. what the fuck another negative i'm being real harsh but yeah the regular one or um, generic ones don't work it has to be samsung you sell them for like 10 bucks so fuck it but we're probably never going to use it to be honest no. um backtracking to what the fuck was i ranting about right now we got way off track i don't know you're supposed to fucking listen to this shit um oh yeah the regular note 10 they should have never made that shit. Um, it's laughable because you're a common person that's not a freak like me that's gonna search every little fucking thing about the specs of the phone. The regular person, this is just gonna be like, like how I said, oh, I want the regular one. I don't want the plus, it's too big. Well, the regular one, you don't have shit. They diluted too much. Way less specs, camera's worse because you don't have that fourth um, 3D depth shit on it. Half the RAM. And you're stuck with the gigs you get, kind of like the Apple. You don't get a fucking memory card slot, which is crazy. So, no 10, unless you're delusional, the cheapest fuck in the world, you shouldn't get the regular Note 10. The Plus is the one to get. So, Samsung, what the fuck? Don't do that shit again. Make one note. That's supposed to be the cream of the crop. The fucking, the head honcho, the fucking king. And now you got two of them just trying to milk shit. So, I don't know. That was a negative, too. But overall, great phone. I won't talk shit anymore. I'm going to keep using it for another two years. And we'll see what the fuck comes out.